Hi, this is Matt with Tanganyika Wildlife Park. And I'm happy to introduce today's financial survival camp video with a little help from Charlie. In this lesson, Meritrust will help you learn about buying a car and how you can make it happen by creating smart goals and tracking your spending wisely. So you don't have to ride a camel everywhere you go. Have you ever wanted to buy an expensive item but didn't have the money to pay for it? Perhaps you wanted to buy a bicycle or a gaming system or maybe outdoor equipment so you can go on an adventure someday. Saving money for items that we can't afford right away feel overwhelming. That's why it's important to know how to set goals for your money. Setting a financial goal is just putting down in writing how you plan to accomplish saving the money you need to purchase that item that you're dreaming about owning. In this lesson, we are going to teach you all about goals. There are three different types of goals that you can set for yourself. Short, medium, and long-term goals. Short-term goals are goals that you can accomplish in less than one year. Most people have a short-term goal that they are aiming for. You may want to buy an expensive pair of shoes. If you are able to save in between 10 to $35 a month, you can easily set aside enough money to purchase these items in the next 12 months, and probably sooner. Medium-term goals are goals that will take you between one to three years to accomplish. These items are usually more expensive, so it will take you more determination and concentration to reach your goal. When I think about medium-term goals, I think about items like games or a new computer. Saving $20 to $40 a month for two years will save you right around $500 to $1,000. The more you save, the more you can afford to spend. Long-term goals take more than three years to accomplish. You may be saving for something that is way down the road, like buying your first car or going on a trip. These goals are like big mountains. The more you save, the bigger your pile of money will be to spend on these items. It's possible and even recommended to be working on both short-term and longer-term goals at the same time. This might require that you have to have more than one savings account so you don't get the money mixed up and also that you pay careful attention to your monthly budget. Please find the activity in your envelope titled Short, Medium, and Long-Term Goals. For this activity, you will decide if each of the pictures represents a short-term, medium-term, or long-term goal if you could save $20 a month towards your goals. Press pause on this video and complete the activity. When you are done, we will review the answers. Now that we've discussed how long it takes to plan for certain goals, let's talk about writing those goals down. It's important to have financial goals because it gives you something to aim for. It is equally important to write down goals so you can spend time thinking about how you will achieve your goal. Writing goals down also allows you to physically see them, which is especially important to people who learn and remember things visually. We use the acronym SMART, S-M-A-R-T, to remind us to cover every part of setting a good achievable goal. The S stands for specific. If you want to set a SMART goal, you have to know what you're wanting to achieve, and the more specific you are, the better you are able to plan for your goal. Let's look at two different ways to set a goal. You could say, I'm going to buy a new computer. That is a goal, but it's not a very specific one. Let's try this instead. By July 31st, 2022, I'm going to buy a new gaming laptop with added memory and high definition speakers that will cost $800. This is a specific goal. It tells us exactly what we want to purchase, how much it's going to cost, and when we will be purchasing it. The M in SMART stands for measurable. We have to be able to measure the progress of our goal to make sure we're on track. If I need to save $800 to buy my computer in one year, I'll need to save about $80 a month or about $20 a week to reach my goal. I can record my progress in my savings journal. The A in SMART stands for attainable. The goal you set has to be a goal that you can accomplish. For example, you can't save $100 a month if you don't make $100 in income every month. 
and even if you did make $100, it would be very unlikely that you could save every penny of it for an entire year without spending any money on anything else. I make about $40 a month in allowance for doing my chores around the house, and I also make another $30 a month helping a neighbor out. In the summertime, there are a few yards in my neighborhood that I mow, so I'm able to make a little extra money then. With this income, I should be able to save about $80 a month for my new computer. Although, it may be more difficult in the winter. The R in SMART stands for relevant. I love playing video games with my friends, but my computer is older and it has trouble keeping up sometimes. Having a new computer would not only allow me to have more fun with video games, but I can also use it to help with my schoolwork too. The T in SMART helps us set a time frame for when we want to achieve our goal. If you set a goal, but never decide when you want to complete that goal, you may never begin. Not setting an end date also allows us to delay achieving our goal. I'll buy my new computer by July 31st, 2022 to give myself time to save. Reaching my goal one year from today is realistic for me. So to review, when we set goals, we need to think about having SMART goals. Goals that are specific, so I know exactly what I'm aiming for. Measurable, so I know that I'm on track every month. Attainable, so I know that I can accomplish this goal. And relevant, so I know I will achieve something that makes sense for me. And finally, I need to set a time frame that will help me be motivated to finish my goal. Now, it's time to complete a goal setting activity. campers, thanks for watching our SMART goal setting video. Now we're going to walk through the activity together. With this activity, we're going to talk about how we could use a SMART goal to help us buy a car. Remember, before you get started writing your SMART goal, there are three things you want to consider. Number one, how much money are you making right now? Number two, how much time do you have to save? And number three, what are some things that might get in the way of your goal? When looking at the example on our worksheet, you make an extra $800 a month to apply toward your SMART goal. You can save for as many months as you'd like. And an example of something that might get in your way could be a trip or an unexpected expense. Once you've completed the top section of the worksheet, you can drop down to writing your own SMART goals. Start by using a SMART goal to help you purchase a car. An example of a car buying SMART goal is right below. Finally, you can take everything we've learned and use it to write a SMART goal to help you purchase something you want to buy in the future. Great job writing your SMART goals, campers. Have a great day. To learn more about money, check out the other Financial Survival Camp videos. To learn more about Charlie, come to Tanganyika Wildlife Park, where you can ride Charlie and get up close and personal to over 40 different species of animals.